and we're finding out the world's biggest login streak inside of Adopt Me. I'll be showcasing the inventories of some of Adopt Me's highest login streak players, starting off low and making our way to the world's biggest login streak in Adopt Me. This player has a login streak of 470 days, let's see what pets they have. Alright, they're starting off with a Bat Dragon and a Shadow Dragon and a Frost Dragon. If this player has been playing every day for one and a half years, I guess you kind of expect some crazy pets. Oh, a Safari Egg. A Mega Phoenix? Wow, that's that's actually really impressive. Um, what? Oh, they're adding more. They're adding more. So for playing Adopt Me every day for 470 days, they've been able to go and get some pretty rich pets, which is exciting. I can't wait to see what the player with 2,000 day login streak pets are. That's going to be insane. They have a golden gift. Is that from Christmas? Do I have one of those? I, I kind of forgot what that is. I only have a Christmas gift. I don't know what a golden gift is. What is that? Comment down below. They got a monkey box, a premium monkey box. Now that one, that one's rare. This player has some of the rarest old gift items that I've ever seen and eggs. Is that it took them 470 days to collect every egg, every pet, every stroller and every gift. They have every single stroller. As a gift, everyone who shows their login streak today is getting a free Luna Tiger. It's trading and it was successful. Okay, we're now onto a 799 day login streak, one away from being 800 days. This player has never missed logging in for 799 days straight, which is literally crazy. They've been playing every day for so many years. I've just sent this player a trade to see what they have for playing Adopt Me every day for 800 days. They have just given me the ant. I actually gave them this ant the other day. They got an evil unicorn. Oh, a mega unicorn, a neon parrot. All right, I like the mega unicorns. They got a king penguin, a neon swan. I think these might be some of their favorite pets. These are all really impressive. We just gave them the free tiger. Now we're moving on to a player who's played Adopt Me for 1,167 days straight. That is literally so many days. I can't believe it. I wonder what they're going to have for playing for 1,100 days. They've just pulled out a mega neon arctic. Oh my word. A mega giraffe. A Mega Golden Rat, a Mega No Potion Luna Gold Tiger, a Neon Ninja Monkey, a Mega Neon Turtle. I mean, this person has been playing for 1,100 days. I was expecting some awesome pets, but I wasn't expecting so many Mega Neons. A Mega Neon Giraffe is like the second rarest pet or the third rarest pet in all of existence, which is literally insane. A Mega Neon Arctic Fox, that's actually a really cute one. I, I love the Arctic Foxes. A Mega Ghost Bunny, this player has some of the most rarest Mega Neon pets in existence and it keeps, it keeps getting more and more. They have a Mega Neon Puffin. Those things were like thousands of Robux each or it would take you 10 hours to get that. A Mega Australian Kelpie, a Mega Cow, a Mega Brown Bear, Mega Sabertooth. Bro, how do they have so many Mega Neons? I mean, they have been playing for 1,160 days. So I am definitely was expecting some cool stuff, but I wasn't expecting this extent of like a Mega Neon. Do they have a Mega Neon of everything? I, I have a feeling that this player genuinely might accidentally have a Mega Neon of every single pet. It looks like it. They definitely have more Mega Neons than me. This is very impressive. A Mega Neon Silly Duck. I've literally never seen that pet before as Mega Neon because it's really hard to get its hands on one. Even though it's uncommon, it's pretty difficult to get. This player also has a house, so I'm gonna see what the house looks like and what's on the inside. It seems to be some type of little maze. And, oh, they have a really pretty looking house. Look at this. They have, oh, the tree is amazing. This is so well decorated. I've never seen a tree so amazingly made inside of Adopt Me. Like, how is that possible? I think we're about to go and cross over and enter a secret temple by the looks of things. What? They've just, like, gone and made their own house. Like, Adopt Me doesn't have a dojo temple, so they're like, yeah. Because I've been playing for 1,100 days, I'm just going to make my own house from scratch. 
That is insane that someone's been able to like go and fully make their own house without like a anything, you know? How, how do they, how do people come up with this stuff? It's so well made and decorated. The player who has a 1,100 day login streak has also gone and made this giant battle airship. Quite possibly one of the best builds I have ever seen created inside of Adopt Me. Like, look at this thing. This thing literally looks amazing. It looks like it's from a different game altogether. The amount of detail placed into this thing is absolutely stunning. Leave this video a thumbs up and comment down below if you'd like to see more house tours where I go and showcase different players' houses because this thing is literally amazing. This is what a player with 1,100 days have. I'm so excited to see what someone with 2,000 days will have. This player has the world's biggest login streak in Adopt Me with a total of 1,559 days going towards the player called Jake Prasner. I'm now sending Jake a trade to see what his rarest pets are. I'm very much intrigued what playing this amount of days goes and gets you. I'm not going to be surprised if he has a mega of everything, okay? So he's got a mega shadow dragon, a mega giraffe, a mega flamingo. This guy knows his stuff. Having a mega neon fly ride shadow dragon, this have the clothes for an update. Adopt me, no! What's the update? All right, we're back, and he has he has another shadow dragon. He has more than one mega neon because you know the more the merrier. This is crazy. A neon frost dragon, a neon evil unicorn. Oh, two neon evil unicorns. A fly ride drop. All right, this guy knows his stuff. Very nice. I'm now going to do a little interview with this guy. I mean, he's playing, been playing a dummy for one thousand five hundred days, so I'm very much intrigued. Adopt Me is a completely different game that many years ago. He said he saw a video on YouTube, so I decided to check it out. This is over four years that this player has been playing every single day of their life. Four years. So because this guy saw a YouTube video, he's been playing Adopt Me every single day for four years straight. Which kind of blows my mind that people are this dedicated to the game. I mean, this is a good trade. I click it. I click accept. I'm, I'm gonna decline, okay? When it was new, cash was very hard to get, so my goal was to get the most expensive car. And because he wanted to go and get that car, it made him play a lot. He said it was convertible. Do I have that car? What is the convertible? A tiny convertible. <laughs> the old one. What is this? <laughs> Time to check out the interior of a player who's spent four years of their life playing the game. Complete the crazy or impossible to get a big head potion, so that he's got like a bunch of signs. Let's go and check out what his house is. I mean, the guy's been playing Adopt Me for four years straight, so he's gonna have some pretty cool stuff in here. Uh, I'm not sure what happened to his money tree. What I do know is that this guy has actually gone and rebuilt the whole of Five Nights at Freddy's inside of his house. This is actually a really nice build and I believe I showcased this a long time ago. He said it's kind of outdated but this thing is actually a replica of it. So if you've ever played the Five Nights at Freddy's game then you might recognize this whole place. It's a one to one replica scale building featuring everything from the game. Including these characters made out of some awesome builds. I asked if he had anything to say and he said to subscribe to my boy Cookie. So everyone, if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed, press the button right now. 